Bill, some force changes and some yeah. um, changes in your side. Can you just talk us through them, please? Yeah, um, well, obviously, Xavier Coates and, and Murray Tauolangi, um, you know, they'd picked up injuries um, over the last couple of weeks, so you know, unfortunate for those two guys. And, um, you know, we get the opportunity to bring Dane Gagoy in. Um, Selwyn Cobbo, he comes in also. Um, so, yeah, no, fortunate to have a luxury of, of those guys um, to bring into the footy team. And, um, you know, Jaden Sewell is probably the other guy that's, you know, Probably a little bit unlucky not to be in the team, but you know, he's he's nursing a few issues as well, getting scared as we speak on a, on an issue he picked up over the weekend. Um, yeah, but this is the team that we feel um, is our best football team going into this game. It's a big game, um, one all in the series, and with a cider here at home, which is um, pretty exciting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's um, well, we all know what Dane Gagai brings. We all know how important this footy team is to Dane Gagai. Um, you know, he's he's played more than 20 Origins. Um, he's a very passionate Queenslander, and he's playing wonderful footy at the moment. So, um, you know, he wasn't just here just for the sake of being here last camp. He he was here for a reason, and um, yeah, really <coughs> excited to see him back in a maroon jersey. So, yeah. 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 Unfortunately for Kalen, you know, the last couple of years he, he hasn't been available. Um, you know, it was game three, you know, 2022, the last time he was available playing here at Suncorp. So, um, yeah, it was great to see him back on the field uh, yesterday and. Um, and he hadn't really skipped a beat. You know, obviously, he'd done a lot of work, you know, at training and a lot of physical work to get himself in the condition that he's in. Um, and we feel that, you know, that's the best thing for the footy team to have him in the side. Bill, there's a lot. Yeah, it, to, to be honest, it, the, the changes um, personnel wise aren't going to fix what happened in, in game two. Um, you know, we need to really go after our footy and, and make sure that um, you know, we have an even share of possession to make sure our discipline's you know, on point, that we're not putting more pressure on ourselves. And um, you know, that's important for us to go after this camp because um, it is a different game, but we need to make sure it's different with our actions. Cool. Oh, I think it's probably more the footy side of things. Um, you know, that's where we, we got caught on the back foot. Um, you know, we didn't have enough uh, football in the first 20 minutes of the game and, and then it snowballed against us. Uh, like I said after the game, it, it's a really tough game to play. Um, you add fatigue to that, it's near impossible. So uh, we need to help ourselves. Bill, there was a bit of talk about um, yesterday and, and that Josh probably might have been looked at to come out, to come back in and also how unlucky is David for Fida not to be in the yeah. side? Yeah, well, Dave was, you know, a serious consideration. Um, you know, but we feel that the, the 17 players that you know, have been chosen um, uh, are the 17 players that have earned the opportunity to be here. Um, you know, all Queenslanders are considered, and you know, Dave's uh, a name that has been in the conversation for for all games. Um, you know, like I said, you know, at the start of the series, he's. You know, he started the season a, a little bit behind the eight ball with a with a pec injury. He didn't have a great preseason, and, and he's still working back to the standard that he created for himself last year. And um, you know, I'm sure he'd be the first one to admit that. And um, you know, these conversations aren't just um, aren't just throwaway conversations that we have um, behind closed doors. And um, yeah, this is the 17 that we feel is is the best 17 for for game three at some point. Yeah. No, Harry's yeah, Harry's pretty good to be honest. Um, you know, he hasn't played the last couple of weeks for the Storm, so his last game was Game Two Origin. Um, he's in a pretty good place. Uh, to be honest, we feel Reed's really earned this opportunity. Where the Bulldogs are sitting isn't um, isn't any fluke. Uh, they're doing a lot right, and, and Reed Money's a big part of that. He made 69 tackles on the weekend and, and played nearly 90 minutes. So um, he's a wonderful player. Born at the same hospital as myself, actually, up at Nambour and uh, on 
the Sunshine Coast. So, uh, it'd be good to have him in camp, and um, you know, he's playing to the standard of this footy team. What have you got to go on the win? Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, we just feel that that's the best makeup for the footy team. Um, obviously, we've been forced into a few changes, you know, with Murray and Xavier Coates going out. So, you know, the two wingers um, aren't in the team, you know, from from game one and two. So, you know, that forces you to to shift things around, and we feel that, you know, we know what Valentine Holmes can bring as a centre, but but also as a winger. Um, you know, he's a world class winger, and um, I think he'll fill that role real well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I always thought they'd love to be teammates, so um, now they get the opportunity to be teammates. And um, how we go about it, we'll, we'll build that over the, the next nine days. Um, but yeah, pretty excited for them both to, to get out there and, and get their footy on. Um, we, we know what they bring, they're, they're very exciting players, but at the same time, we need to get our, our footy right from the start. You know, we can't be on the back foot like we were in game two and you now we need to raise the standards of our game to to get there yeah yeah uh, you know every time you go through adversity it, it, it builds that resilience in you um, I've been through it as a player you know through injuries and, and whatnot and setbacks and disappointments and um, you know Kalen's He's done that, and he's really matured as a person. He's matured as a as a footy player, um, you know. And it showed yesterday, really, you know, to you know, have the best part of three months off and and come back and perform the way he did. Um, I dare say, if Callum Pong is not on the field yesterday, um, they may not get the, the two points. So um, he's that influential at the at the Knights, and I know what he brings to that footy team. And um, he was pretty influential in 2022 here as well. So. You know, to have the strike of, of Reese and, and Kalen in the footy team, um, you know, if we earn our footy, we'll, you know, they'll be able to play their game. Yeah, look, I think you guys know, you know, the access to, to our players. Um, you know, we don't get our full squad together until mid-afternoon today. Um, they've got some commercial arrangements, you know, with the QRL that they need to fulfil, and we've got to get some footy stuff done. So, um, you know, you'll have access to the players, to the majority of the players throughout the uh, the 10-day camp. And um, you know, we saw out at out at Toowoomba with you know 8,000 people, you know, turning up, and you know what we give to the people of Queensland, what we the access we give to to our players. You, you guys, you guys see that. Um, you get to come down to Century Cove and, and watch our training sessions. Um, you know, so uh, look, I feel I feel the access is is great. There's some circumstances around um, players coming into camp at different stages today um, that we couldn't quite you know get everyone available. But you know, we do everything possible to you know get the voices of our players out to you know the people watching our game. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't think you read into it too much. I think it's a little bit unfair. I wouldn't have thought so. I, like I said, you know, we try and give access as much access as possible to our, our players. Um, like I said, you just get the opportunity to come down and, and watch us at Century Cove. We get a great turnout down there from, you know, people wanting to come and watch the boys train, and um, I think that's where the story is. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, um, you know. Players talking to, to media is certainly not a, a factor in performance from game two. That's I have my head. That's the first time I've thought of that when you've asked that question. Um, look, looking at the stadium right now, like this, this is the home of of State of Origin. This is where it was born um, back in 1980, and. Um, it, it's obviously a very special place, you know, for this footy team. Um, but it's made special by the performance of this footy team. Um, you know, one without the other is 
is irrelevant and you know we need to make sure our performance is is first class and um, we can't have the same performance that we put in 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 the first half in game two otherwise you know the atmosphere won't be what Stuncook Stadium can create so it's important that that we you know bring our end of the bargain and the atmosphere will will bring theirs. It's a great. It, nothing, nothing's guaranteed in life. I can tell you that right now. So, <laughs> at some stage, um, yeah, nothing's guaranteed. You, you've, you've got to earn everything, and like we know the atmosphere that this creates, and it's a, it's going to be a great occasion Wednesday week. Um, yeah, everyone everyone knows that the anticipation around it is going to be huge, and um, we're all excited for that. Um, we need to we need to bring our footy and. That's that's our priority. That's what we'll be going after in the next nine days. And um, you know, we bring that. It's it's going to be a great entertainment product. Yeah, yeah that's it. Well, if it's if it's not a challenge, you're not trying hard enough. Yeah, you know, if there's not pressure involved, if there's not nerves, well, you know, you're not trying hard enough. You're in your comfort zone. So you got to be outside your comfort zone, and um, you got to throw your hat in the ring, give it a go. So. That's what the players will be doing, um, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be going after our best game of footy, and um, that's why we're here. It's important to us. Um, so, yeah. Look, when you get to this, this stage, you know, quality goes out and quality comes in. Um, they've just got different strengths. You know, Bradman Best is a, a much different player to Latrell Mitchell. Um, dan more dangerous in other areas of the game, um, less dangerous in some areas of the game. So. You know, people bring different things to a footy team. Um, we've got some outs, uh, we've got some ins. You know, strengths go out, strengths come in. Um, so, you know, it, it, for a coach, you, you look at it like that and you prepare like that. It's, um, you know, it's, it's a, obviously a big talking point, the selection and, and force changes and all that sort of stuff. But um, when you're in the grind of coaching and, and in the grind of preparing a team, you look at the strengths of players that you're playing against and and you're prepared to the best of your ability against them. Yes. No. Without doubt, without doubt. I've looked at myself before I've looked at anyone else. And, um, yeah, there's mistakes in, in my preparation, there's mistakes in my performance and um, privately I'll be owning that and I'll learn from it. What, what sort? Yeah, yeah, bumps and bruises I think it is. <laughs> that's the, oh yeah, that's my technical medical, medical term, I only went to grade 11 so that's where I sit at. <laughs> Yeah. 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 You're not defined by one performance, are you? And um, you know, although it would be hurting the players, you know, it's it's hurting the coaches, and you know, all of Queensland would have been hurting from game two. Um, we would have loved to go down there and and perform to the best of our ability, but we didn't quite, you know, do that. And New South Wales did. Um, you got to give credit where credit is due, and and they were near perfect in that first half, and. Uh, they'd earned their points, they'd earned their, their win, and they deserve to win that game. Um, it's one all here at Suncorp. Decider, I think both camps would be really excited about this preparation and, and going after their game, which should give us a, a, a great spectacle. Correct me if I'm wrong, Bill, but my said before the series that you could pick three points and go and follow the same thing. Yeah, I think so. I, I think I said that. I'm sure they'd love to be teammates at some stage, and um, you know, probably probably right what you're saying. I won't correct you. Um, so, yeah, look, they're they're wonderful players, and I'm I'm sure Reese Walsh is, you know, coming into camp this afternoon thinking I get the opportunity to play with Caelan Ponga, 
and probably vice versa. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that part is really exciting. Um, I'm sure it's exciting for, for Queenslanders knowing that those two guys are, are in their footy team. Um, but, but those two guys aren't, aren't going to change what we got wrong in, in game two. Um, you know, that'll take a, a collective 17 and um, a real mindset to, get, to go after it and go after our game in our preparation. So um, we need to earn the right to bring them into the game. I'm, I'm feeling good, yeah. I'm happy, I'm looking forward to it. I was as disappointed as anyone after game two. Um, but, you yeah, know, time heals everything, doesn't it? Um, so? We've got, we got 17, we've got 20 actually. So, um, it's all good. Thank you. Appreciate it.